I'm live. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. I'm gonna pop a filter on. Um, that's a pretty filter. Hi everyone. Um, I'm going live because I want to pack my hospital bag with you guys and I was doing it and I just thought it would be fun to I don't know, I guess have some company. I'm trying to find like my OG filters that I love, but um I don't know why they're oh here we go. Okay. Sparkly, I love this one. By the way, shout out to Jessie who created this um filter. She's one of the investors at Sugar Taco and she's so just amazing. Of course I would get a call. <sighs> I'm having a little coffee. And I set up my bed with a bunch of stuff that I want to pack my hospital bag with. And I thought I would just make a really quick little live with you guys to share. Um, I don't know. Honestly, I just felt like I, I needed someone to hang out with. And Andrew took Gio for a walk. So here we are. Um, tomorrow is the day that I have scheduled for my C-section. Um, and... I'm excited. I'm in a really good place with it all. And I just, I'm, it's, it really doesn't even feel real that this is happening and that like, I'm going to meet her essentially tomorrow morning. Um, so quick update. I had my first COVID test, like my nasal COVID test swab yesterday, which was wild. Um, I'm sure many of you guys have been swabbed plenty of times, but I've been lucky enough that I haven't had to cause we don't go anywhere and we work from home. Um, but I went and got it and it was like the most wild experience. It was like underground in this parking lot and everyone was in like the hazmat suits and like you couldn't see anything. It was dark and you had to like show your ID on the window and then like pull up, show your ID again. And then they show you your vial with your name on it and you go, okay, that's me wild experience um but it didn't hurt it was it was really fast and easy and the lady who did it for me I shouldn't say lady she's probably younger than me um she was so kind and it really helped like i don't know make the experience a little bit sweeter but um so all's well there they said if i don't hear from them then i'm good to go to my surgery tomorrow so um i should start packing right I feel like out of breath. Um, so I'm gonna just really pack light stuff because I remember from being pregnant with Gio and going to the hospital in a rush and not bringing anything that the hospital really did provide almost anything that you needed. Um, but I just wanna bring the things that make me feel cozy and make me feel you know, a little bit more at home because hospitals can be sterile. So um, I'm gonna just go for it. Put my little cup down. By the way, you guys, Home by B. You have to look her up. She's the most beautiful like kitchenware. Um, this is from her. Okay, so I have a beautiful swaddle. That I'm gonna pack. I think I like this one. It's like muslin. It doesn't give a ton, which. Um, actually makes for a really good tight swaddle but i actually like the stretch the stretchy ones too they're both good um and then this is a bag from shane mitchell her base collection so i'm hoping everything's gonna fit in here and i'm trying not to go crazy like i said so pack my swaddle bring just some like cozy waffle knit loungewear these are just like ones i got from target and lulu's and I live in them, they're super worn in and comfortable. Let's hope all this fits you guys. Okay, so unfortunately, Sprouted doesn't make diapers for mamas yet, <laughs> but I really wanna get on it because these are the ones that I wore with Gio and as comfy and cozy and amazing as they are, um, they're not at all eco-friendly. So um, something I'm thinking about already for Sprouted, but I'm bringing three of them because I imagine they're gonna wrap me up and do all the things initially and then I may or may not even use these. They may just put me in some of theirs, but um, these are great postpartum. I wore, <laughs> I wore a diaper with Gio for almost six weeks. Um, 
this might be TMI, but I was producing a lot. If you guys remember, I had a lot of infections and I, I really stressed out on breastfeeding, so I overproduced. And with that came like crazy contractions of my uterus. And so I was just bleeding like no one's business. So there you go. Gotta have some good diapers for mama too. These are my sprouted newborn diapers. It's so surreal that I get to bring these and put them on her. I actually haven't seen a newborn diaper, um, a sprouted newborn diaper on a baby yet. So I might be the first. And, um, I'm just excited that I don't have to use the hospital ones that they offer. I mean, they're fine, but these are really, really soft and I know exactly what's in them and they make me feel comfortable. Um, so, bringing these. And this was one of the waistbands I used to hold me in afterwards. I just got it on Amazon. I know that they'll have one and, and truthfully, if they have a good one, it, it's most likely better the one that they have at the hospital. Um, but I'm bringing this just in case because you can never have enough support after that surgery. It was really helpful to wear a waistband. Oh, I have some beautiful blankets. This is just like, the texture is so yummy. The color is so good. Um, Mori, M-O-R-I, sent us some beautiful things for both Gio and our baby girl. Um, and this blanket I just love so I think I'm just gonna bring it because it's small enough It's not gonna take up a lot of space and it's light um, Okay, bringing that This is to cover the car seat. I use this with Geo. Where did I get this? I don't even oh Parker Parker baby co parkerbaby.com. I bought this, um, you cover your car seat. So when we are leaving the hospital, I can keep her nice and safe in this little situation. But what's great about these two is they have the hole at the top that's smaller. It's like more narrow. So you can use this if you're out and about and you feel more comfortable, um, covering yourself while breastfeeding or covering the baby. Um, so I'm just going to bring this cause there are a lot of germs in the air, and I just wanna make sure I can cover her up. Nipple butter. <laughs> okay, I, I can go on and on about this, but I was in so much pain when I initially started breastfeeding. I don't think that this will be the same this time because I am obviously a little more worked in in this region, <laughs> I'm hoping. Um, so I'm bringing this just for safe measures, but, um, try not to use anything at all because I just want to keep everything as super natural as possible. Um, and that's that. Okay. I'm bringing my vitamins. You guys know I'm such a vitamin freak. Um, I already packed them last night for three days because I'm just hoping that that's all I'll be there for. But if I need, oh no. They were all organized too. Dang it. This is, okay. This is why you do lives. Okay. Um, I'll get to those in a second, but um, bringing my vitamins and this cute little case that I've had forever. I got it on Amazon. And, oh, maybe I didn't get it on Amazon. It's called Medcessories. Medcessories. And now I have vitamins on the floor, but um, I'll tell you what vitamins I'm bringing. I'm bringing um, prenatal probiotic. Um, I'm bringing my prenatals that I take. I'm bringing, um, what else did I put in here? I think I put zinc, vitamin C, and um, vitamin D. So that's the what I had in here, at least. I have to repack those. Um, I'm going to bring a lot more snacks, but I just grabbed these because... Um, I just want to put them in my bag. I'm bringing a Go Macro Bar, and I'm bringing this Saqqara Super Bar. It's got 10 grams of plant protein, blue spirulina. It's vanilla flavored, um, but someone advised us to bring a lot of snacks, and I think that's a brilliant idea because hospital food um, just isn't, you know, the best. And when you're breastfeeding, you just want to make sure you're getting tons of nutrients and you know, you're hungry, or at least I was, I was starving. Okay, so I just bought this. 
from Snuggle Me because I didn't have one when I got when I had Gio in the hospital and it was so awkward holding your baby to nurse like this like you're so tight and I had had the surgery and I just want to be more comfortable so I got this really convenient little nursing pillow um, which I'm really excited about it matches like basically all of the tones in our room and <laughs> the whole vibe here so um, I washed it and it's all ready to go what else am I bringing oh my gosh all of her clothes okay so I don't know what she's gonna wear and I don't know if you guys saw this but one of our podcast listeners for adulting sent us these beautiful little pieces from Australia and um, her name's Sophie and she's just such a supporter she's just incredible so anyways this is like the cutest little outfit it's probably not the most like practical maybe um I don't know what the weather will be like come the day we leave but I'm bringing it just because it's so darn cute and dainty and I know that she's not gonna have a lot of time to wear this because it's so tiny granted I have no idea how much she's gonna weigh so that's all GBD bringing little baby newborn socks little mitts for her hands because um Gio's nails were so long and so sharp and they are so prone to scratching themselves so um, I don't use mitts for very long but I think in the very initial stage like the newborn stage it's good to use these so um, Mason Gray sent these beautiful little like onesie sacks and the material is so so soft um, I think I'm gonna bring this I love the butterflies um, so yeah I'm just bringing it <laughs> I went from being absolutely not prepared with Gio to now wanting to bring basically everything that she has um okay so maybe you guys can help me with this one because I'm not necessarily like a frilly girly girl but I love the idea of a hair accessory and so I have three bows okay I'm gonna watch the comments where's my shirt from I got this from um I got this from Vici it's a big like sweatshirt dress I'll show you and it's got pockets and it's cozy and it's just so easy to wear when you're pregnant or not so any other questions people are giving name suggestions it's so funny Andrew just texted me this is how unsure we are still of the name he just texted me another name do you like blah 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 and I'm like we'll figure it out um okay so in terms of a bow I'm leaning towards this one I just think that it's the most like oh wait it's a little rough on this side oh my gosh I'm so protective <laughs> well maybe for a picture but I don't know if I like that rough lace here it's got like glue or something okay but this was like the one I was initially leaning towards it just seems the most like timeless and sweet and innocent and um she for all i know she could wear she could be a total tomboy when she grows up i don't care um that was certainly me but i just selfishly thought this was adorable so i'm gonna bring it um i'll put that in her little bag but then there's this one too i forget where i bought all these i wish i could tell you because they're adorable um, I've just been getting pinged on Instagram with ads and I, I'm a sucker for some little girly accessories. I don't necessarily need any clothes though because we're going to reuse a lot of An uh, Andrews, whoa, of Geos and I have some hand-me-downs from people and people have given me really beautiful pieces too. But here's another one. It's like a soft, soft, soft like sage green. I think I might just bring it because why not? And then this one's like... <laughs> This one's like much more chunky and like certainly not the most probably comfortable, but it's like a oatmeal-y, what do you call this? Like a speckly kind of cotton. And this is from, this actually has a brand. It's called Brixton Phoenix. What a trendy little like brand name. Okay, so I'm bringing that. Then in terms of outfits, you know Kelly who works with us that I always talk about? Kelly, she works for Adulting and Nail Kinder. She got us this beautiful onesie sack. Um, 
I'm obsessed with it. I think it's just so cute. Um, my only fear is that maybe it's a little big. I know this looks tiny, but there's a chance that it could be a tiny bit big, but I'm gonna bring it anyways, cause I just love it. Um, I just love these like tones, the little peaches and stuff. And then um, my cousin gave me some of her hand-me-downs from her baby Jake. And I think he wore this in the hospital, but it looks massive. And I think she said it was massive, so I might end up not bringing this, but um, I don't know. Undecided on the clothes front, but we have so many options that I'm just gonna throw them in a bag and we'll see what I choose on the day. And a little hat, so cute. This is from, um, oh, please have the brand. Oh, Lulu, you guys. This brand is one of my favorites for kids. I got a bunch of stuff for Gio and it's not the cheapest stuff, but I will say he can wear it way past the um, months that they suggest. Like it's really stretchy and the waistbands are really loose and I just love the way their stuff fits. So I got stuff for the baby girl. And then this is like the little bag that Sophie's gifts came in. So I'm gonna use this to put all her clothes in there. Um, I'll wait to do that really quick. I'm just going to go through my essentials um, that I'm bringing. I'm bringing the Osea Anti-Aging Body Balm. Incredible. I can't say enough good things about this um, product and company. And then their Hyaluronic C Serum is absolutely amazing. It is the... I'm like big on hyaluronic acid right now. And this one's really thick and um, not sticky hydrating and um, I don't know, I just feel like it's one of the best. Then I'm bringing this little facial spritzer by Delia, or Delia Organics, Delia Organics. Um, let me see what's in it actually. It's really gentle, it's just water, lavender, tea tree, just a bunch of like floral things, sage. Um, I just want to be fresh and hydrated because I know that the hospitals can have like a weird stench and feel very like recycled air-y. Um, so I want to have that just to freshen up. And then I'm obsessed with their dose of C serum. This also has hyaluronic acid in it and it's incredible. Um, you guys know how I feel about my Franklin and Whitman lip balm. My favorite. Also bringing some of the Summer Friday stuff. So this is kind of the same. It's like a oil-free gel cream. So I'll probably use this at night for hydration. Um, a little, um, why am I blinking out? Mason and gray, you know, scrunchy, my brain. Brush, toothbrush, toothpaste, can't forget that. Pretty sure I forgot that when we went to the hospital with Geo. And then the Summer Fridays Baby Moon Balm, which is nearly gone. But um, again, it's so drying in the hospital. And then I have um, my little Lacar skin. I don't know if you guys got this in your kind of beauty box, but they had these little like travel toners and cleansers and all the things. So I just put them in there just in case. And then some like ear swabs and things like that. My glasses. I will bring my contact case this time so I can see and my contact solution just in case for some reason my contact solution spills out of my contact case and oh I just got this from Franklin and Whitman and I'm obsessed it's their vitamin C eye serum it is so nice I wore it last night a little goes a long way um, but I'm gonna have tired eyes and I could definitely use the help there and then this bag is special because my cousin gave it to me um, when I was in her wedding. And so, you know, just little things. And the thing I have to bring, you guys, oh my God, I can't believe I'm bringing everything, but I am, um, is my soft blanket. If you remember correctly, I slept with this every night of my pregnancy with Gio. I've nestled him up in this blanket and I have slept with it every night of my, the, my pregnancy this time. So. I'm gonna make sure this is fresh and ready to go. And then honestly, last but not least, not the cute stuff, my cousin Janessa gave me some like, just cozy, chunky black um, sweatsuits. And this is one that's actually good for nursing. It opens up in the front. Um, so you can just easy access the booby. Um, but I'm bringing it in black because 
when you leave the hospital, like, yeah, you're all bandaged up, but just in case, you know, there's some stuff happening down there, I didn't want to wreck anything. Um, so that's it for now. I feel like I'm pretty much prepared. I'm going to look at my comments in case there's any moms here that have any suggestions. And, um, because I'm sure I'm forgetting things and that's just what it is. I'm not going to rack my brain. If I need something, I don't know, it's only three days of my life. I'll be fine. Um, thank you guys for watching this live <laughs> and sorry if I'm out of breath. Um, someone asked me if I'll take placenta pills. Um, so I didn't with Geo. Um, and I didn't plan to, but I couldn't because my placenta was all green from the meconium um, because I had kind of a wild birthing experience. But I'm actually considering it this time, which I don't know why I didn't think about this sooner. And I don't even know if it's an option yet because it's so last minute. Ugh. But I am considering it because... My life coach that I've been working with for a little while suggested that I could help with some like postpartum stuff. Um, so I need to look into that ASAP. Any other questions? Oh my gosh, yes, a phone charger. <laughs> yes, so smart, Jackie. Thank you. A phone charger. Um, I'm kind of in between whether or not I'll bring my AirPods or not because I. I don't know, I'm just weird about all the EMFs, but it's like, in reality, we're gonna be in a hospital with, I'm sure, a ton of Wi-Fi and stuff in the air, so what are you gonna do? But um, definitely my charger. And anything else? Okay, I won't take up any more of your time, you guys. Um, that's it. I am gonna prep a bunch of food for Gio today um, because Andrew's mom is coming over tonight to stay with him. And I just want to make sure that he has like a ton of like easy access snacks and stuff um, and food and whatever else I can throw together. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else I'm going to be doing today. I'm sure there's a ton. We have to like get our guest room ready, <laughs> transition from the playroom to a guest room so that we can have Andrew's mom here comfortably. Um, I actually just bought all new bedding all new bedding, which is like a huge adulting move and very exciting for us, for our room. And it's actually supposed to be delivered today. So if I can swing it, we'll see. I wanna wash all of that and then get our bed made. Um, I went with Parachute, you know that company? I've seen ads for it. Um, and I did like the whole shebang. So all brand new bedding. And her little mobile that I showed on my story that I got on Etsy, um, is supposed to arrive today too, so I can set up. I'll show you her little corner. It's not cute right now, but we have some art that we're gonna hang on the wall here um, for my cousin, and then I have a mobile that's gonna go in the corner, and it's really, really dainty and soft and pretty. And then this is not at all prepared yet, but um, it's coming together. <laughs> um, this is from Baby Delight. I may or may not use this um, for the first few nights that I'm home. I'm sure I'm gonna get all kinds of stuff about this, but like I've never co sleep I never co slept with um, Geo, but because Andrew's gonna be in the guest room on Geo's schedule, I was thinking it would be nice to have her really, really conveniently close to me so that I don't have to move a ton um, with my incision. But um, we also have this from Baby Delight too. So um, that's really easy to just pull up to the bed. A lot of options here. I feel, I feel relatively prepared. I know that things change and I know that I'm probably, I could be more prepared than I even need to be, but um, in a good way. So I'm gonna pack all this up and try to get some sleep tonight and know that I have to wake up so early and it's just go time like tomorrow's gonna be so wild and um, I'm just trying to soak it all in because today is really the last day that it'll just be you know Gio and Andrew and I which is so 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 surreal and I don't want to think about it a ton but I can't help it <laughs> Um, I'm just gonna look at everything. Thank you everyone for saying good luck. Um, thank you for all of it. I am so, so, so 
excited and excited to kind of share the journey with you guys this time. And um, that's it. Love you all so much. And uh, 